Hey Crossridge kids, I am so glad to be with you here today. I would rather see your faces and hear your voices, but for right now, this is the best way for us to be together. For the next while, Sunday School will be coming straight to your house. We will sing songs of praise and worship to our God, hear from our Sunday School teachers, and watch the Big God story right here on your screen. Did you know that the church is not a building? It's actually a group of people. That means that we are still the church right now, even though we are scattered. So let's get ready. Sometimes it can be hard to have church at home, but you can do it. Clean up your toys and grab your Bible, quiet your voice, and get ready to sing and praise the Lord together.
know the Bible tells true stories about God's people. Today we're going to hear a story from the book of Esther in the Old Testament about a time that God used a queen to save his people. Today we will hear about that queen inviting a king to a very important meal. There must have been lots of delicious food and very fancy decorations. The queen wanted to talk to the king about something very important. We are going to hear about it in our Bible story. King Ahasuerus was the king of Persia. Many years earlier, when Cyrus was king, 
he sent some of God's people back to Judah to rebuild the temple in Jerusalem. Some of God's people stayed in Persia. God's people were called Jews because they were from Judah. The king of Persia chose Esther to be his queen. Esther didn't tell the king that she was a Jew. One day, Mordecai heard that Haman, an important leader who worked for the king, was planning to kill all the Jews. Mordecai was upset. He was a Jew. He didn't want all the people he loved to be killed. Mordecai and all the Jews cried. Esther didn't know what was wrong. She sent a messenger to ask Mordecai why all the Jews were upset. Mordecai told Esther about Haman's evil plan. You have to do something, Mordecai said. Ask the king to stop Haman. Ask him to save the Jewish people. Esther sent a message back to Mordecai. No one can approach the king unless the king calls for that person first, Esther said. The punishment is death. Unless the king holds out his scepter, then you may live. You're a Jew, Mordecai said. If you don't stop Haman, he will kill you too. Maybe this is why you are the queen. Maybe God put Esther in the palace to save her people. Esther asked Mordecai and the Jews to fast for three days. Then Esther would go to the king, even if it meant she might die. On the third day, Esther went to the king. He saw Esther and held out his golden scepter. What is it, Queen Esther? The king asked. What do you want to ask me? I'll give you anything, up to half of my kingdom. Esther said, Would you and Haman come to a feast today? So Haman and the king went to Esther's feast. After eating, the king said, What do you want, Queen Esther? I'll give you anything, up to half of my kingdom. Come to my feast tomorrow, Esther said. The king agreed. The next day, Haman and the king went to Esther's feast. After eating, the king said, What do you want, Queen Esther? I'll give you anything, up to half my kingdom. Esther spoke up. There is a plan to kill me and my people. The king replied, Who is responsible for this plan? This evil enemy, Haman, Esther said. The king was angry. He punished Haman and made a law to keep the Jewish people safe from their enemies. God was in control over Haman's evil plan to destroy the Jews. Like Haman, Satan wants to ruin God's plan and destroy believers. Satan thought he had won when Jesus died on the cross, but God raised Jesus from the dead and defeated Satan once and for all. All who believe in Jesus are rescued from sin and death. Our key passage says, God will restore you. God knew that the Jewish people would have hard times, but he promised to take care of them even during those really hard times. God used Esther to rescue God's people from their enemies. By making a way to save the Jews from Haman's evil plan, God made a way for Jesus to come into the world and save all of his people. Thanks for spending time with us today. Ask an adult to head over to crossridgekids.ca to print off the coloring sheets and activity pages to go with today's lesson. An adult can also find lots of fun ideas for you to do at home on our Crossridge Kids Instagram page. Let's pray together. Close your eyes and bow your heads so we can show respect to God and we are not distracted. Dear God, I thank you so much for our Crossridge Kids. I thank you that we can gather together in this way even though we're scattered at this time. God, I pray that they would have peace and that they would understand your love for them in this time. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. That's it for now. I can't wait to see you next week.